Dutta from CBER for giving me this wonderful opportunity and thanks to the chair. And it's always a pleasure to attend this conference physical, but uh, I'm happy at least I could be able to attend through online. And I wish to meet next year during physical conference too. And uh, it's always a pleasurable moment to be there in the conference and present the keynote speaker, especially alerting this topic with the real for technology. And uh, 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 today we are going to discuss about the topic, how technology changed the complete uh, business model. In fact, uh, a very interesting topic if you talk about how technology changed. Today we are in an area of, uh, uh, we talk about book event or whether we can call tuna, correct? And whether it is a, a absolute volatile or uncertainty, or we talk about uh, the complexity or ambiguity. Today, we also talk about uh, novelty, how the countries can able to emerge. And I still remember uh, once upon a time doing a business, there are certain defined the processes. If you want to be in business, these are all the minimum requirements. And But today, I don't think this became a, this, which are all the requirements of then once upon a time for doing business, today those are all are treated as a liability. Uh, uh, we don't require, for example, we can do business without uh, investments, without properties, without physical investments, without uh, all the five M's. Still, we can able to do business. In fact, I can give hundreds of example how uh, the world businesses era has changed from uh, Schumpeter theory of innovation. He has done a fabulous research and uh, did a research for the last 300 years. And the research says finally today that lifespan of the business less than 15 years because of the emergence of technology. The life cycle of the business is emerged into 15 years. The complete transformation, digitization, changed the complete business model. Yeah, thanks to that uh, word business model, we started floated special courses in IIMs. A couple of IIMs already started as advanced course on how to reinvent your businesses. There are hundreds of examples how businesses change in the business history and the top fortune 500 companies which were there 2000 years before or maybe early 2000 and today those businesses are became a bank and the businesses which were there in that earlier scenario today those companies are uh, completely vanished nobody could talk right the blockbuster one of the flagship leader today is black bankrupt same thing happened with uh, many companies you can see how businesses emerged from scarcity to surplus economy. That's what today we talk about. Again, I'll repeat. And today, if you want to become businesses, earlier the trend is think global, act local. That is a buzzword when we teach international business or marketing. We talk about right that uh, buzzword, think global, act local. But today, what we are talking about, act local, you can compete global. Act local, focus on global, focus on local, we can compete global market. Earlier, if you want to produce a world-class movies, I'll give a couple of examples, probably it can be discussed further. Earlier days, if we talk about for producing a world-class movie, we have to go to Hollywood. Hollywood is the center point for the world-class producing movies. If you want to buy a mutual fund, we wish to go to Boston. Same thing like every country will have certain competitive advantage and people try to go to the places for the specific. If I want the stylist, prefer Italy. Best automobile brand, you'll have to go to Detroit. Right? Japanese talk about technology. Japan talk about technology. If you talk about the perfection, people prefer to go to Germany, especially in automobile. If you talk about design, people prefer to go to Italy. And if we talk about fashion, all these people say Milan, Paris. Is it the same scenario today? If we want to go to produce a movie, I'll talk about from the Indian perspective because today the world business economic order is changing. Today, if you want to produce a cloth, it is always preferred to go to, I'm sure Dr. Data will agree, today world class companies have moved to Bangladesh. In fact, very difficult to identify from the map also on the small place because the skill what Bangladesh could able to give today from that particular place, they can able to produce world-class apparel with the lowest manufacturing cost, which was not a scenario before. 
if you want to produce a movie i don't need to go to hollywood if any indian market is there i'll tell you very interesting india as bollywood dollywood gollywood sandalwood bhojpuri films marathi films and today if we talk about the number of produced the movies in india the number of words which is there especially tamil last year close to 200 plus movies every two days one movies today that the complete business model on the movies change and today that the uh, uh, retail distribution and the revenue happened box office collection in three days and today you don't need to go to world class to go to hollywood and produce a movie it is other way even hollywood movie comes to india it has to be customized in regional language of 20 or at least 10 languages if they don't do movies won't survive I don't, for an example, today automobile brands comes to India. Innovation centers are happening it here. And today, yes, certain extent when you talk about how the localization can be done. Right? Then how to do local part? Because every region has advantage and are we commercializing it properly? Are we encashing it properly? The local knowledge and advantage. Every people has certain advantage. Let identify them. And that's what today all the innovation talks about. Why don't you develop the skills? And today India could be able to develop multiple locations to create the knowledge also. And today I don't need to go to, for any innovation, I don't need to go to Tetrite for automobile, which is happening in India. Within India, there are five different places that innovations are happening. What made these things happen if we talk about one major word? How I can able to do it? How we make location became irrelevant. Earlier, so-called it was competitive advantage, but today location became irrelevant. That one word is all about technology. With the help of technology, we can able to reach anywhere in the world with the cost minimum effect. Today, technology could able to make anything possible. I don't need to go to Boston to buy mutual funds. I can able to buy mutual funds by clicking from my phone. The same technology, even I'm not saying that even the technology will help without going to Hollywood, I can produce a movie sitting at Mumbai. Manufacturing, you take any industry, today what do we talk about? Technology completely reinvented in their business model. As we talk about, today if we talk about Uber, what is the business model? Even though they are in a business of mobility, they are in the business of analytics. How they can able to understand the analytics better? purely because of technology. And today, Uber success model, or whether it is Airbnb or Uber, or you name any branch which is emerging, today we talk about all application-based businesses, app-based businesses, Swiggy. There are many, it's a very interesting. Today, I'm talking about specific about India. Almost India could have more than 200 unicorns. 215 unicorns are now there in India, which started as a technology, uh, unicorn companies. Most of them are technology guys. And what these guys could be able to do, everything they made it, most of the businesses model. Take an example of Oyo Rooms. Today, Oyo could be able to emerge more than 1,25,000 keys, less than the period of one and a half decade. How they could be able to emerge it, Oyo become a world-class brand. And today they started their business operations, not only in India, they could be able to reach to US, China, and across the world, they are entering into that. Because this all became that pay for thin margin again, what made these companies? Today, OYO rooms are Airbnb. They are all technology driven. They don't do physical investments the way conventional businesses are. And today, people are appreciating it too. Earlier, are we accepting those as a business model? No. But today, we are. After the COVID, many businesses emerged and they are very successful. And people are accepting it, including academia, what we are in the business of today teaching. Today, that multiple, you don't need to go to Harvard to do studies. If they want, you can have a multiple online education. This is possible because of technology. The technology made them that the one more another concept, right? Value for money to value for many, right? If you want to enter into mass, keeping it to low price, the technology is a fantastic platform. That is in your option whether you would like to do value for money business or value for many business. Whether or you want to enter into the bottom of the pyramid. And today, entire world wanted to have a quality product without compromising the quality. And this is possible with the help of technology. 
and today you can see that how businesses are emerging that's what joe peter says very clearly that innovation and entrepreneurship will drive today's future businesses model that innovation could be a product or process or supply chain or service the innovation could happen in any area innovation could happen in any of the area but this technology is a fantastic platform where we can able to emerge it and could able to connect with everyone with the cost effective way and new business models are emerging and today when we talk about the technology it is entered into the multiple product segments too it is not restricted only with the you know technology is reached to multiple product in multiple segments even michael porter talks about the globalization and cluster economy and he also talk about how technology are future products in one of the weakness of the five forces model he never talk about technology but in one of the recent paper he talk about how technology driven product replace the product because today customer doesn't want the product today if you want to give the product of tractor one of the example of farm equipments customer doesn't want to buy the farm equipments at all then what they want the farm equipments the vehicle which we have should have a technology hardware software component which will interact with the external sources because if i buy a tractor i want to know what is the weather prediction my bluetooth or maybe my wifi my internet will talk about my soil quality my quality of the seed i can able to predict that uh, you know climatic condition and what is my return on investment even i can sell the product this entire product it is happening with bubblot to do the badminton pad i don't want to just a racket the racket should record my store if that's what apple does the watch what it does it records your bmi index to your heart beat if something happen it communicate it is not a just a product please understand that today what we talk about technology could able to completely you know uh, 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 you know it leveraging the product into the technology driven product technology enable the product today customer doesn't want the car see the tesla so what is the three points i would like to conclude i know the time is ending off if you want to survive in the future one is technology value for many right to reach to the masses with the help of technology what we are going to do that the customers has to be technology driven the product embedded with the solutions the reinventing the four p's product to price to place to promotion let come to the everything product we try to give solution instead of price we talk about value instead of promotion we talk about educating the customer instead of distribution we talk about access we have to reinvent the four p's with the help of technology it could able to deliver the products with the more than the just a product i think technology is a definitely an enabler we know how to use it and 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 i'm very happy the conference has given a fantastic platform to talk about the localization how to can because with the help of technology if we could be able to global the product can be sold across the world it may not be applicable for darjeeling tea because the product has some uniqueness the darjeeling tea can be manufactured only in darjeeling but with the help of technology the darjeeling tea can be sold anywhere in the world so the technology has to be properly used the digitization completely change the business model and it can be enabled and this completely reinventing the business model with the low price i think businesses can be have a fantastic hand in the ahead of times not only in business including academy we have a fantastic market future is all about we can able to connect with intellectuals with the lowest cost because that's what technology is all once again i thank dr datta for giving me a wonderful opportunity and thanks ma'am for giving me chairing the session and uh, and pleasure of meeting you all if any questions i wish to appreciate exactly i completed on time thank you you are to unmute ma'am you are muted ma'am you are muted unmute yes thank yeah. you thank you so much for keeping the time and thank you so much for the very interesting topic I personally have uh, uh, a question, but let me check if anyone in the audience have a question. Uh, any question for this interesting topic? Okay. Uh, well, thank you so much, Professor uh, um, Srini. 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 Yes, for this interesting topic. And as a technology person, I thank you so much for bringing. Uh, the dimension of technology and the importance of technology in 
in this competing economy. But my question is, can we assume that uh, clustering is not only geographically, but technology can play a major role in making cluster in the digital world? It is not necessarily that they are geographically in the same in the same area, yes? Cluster economy can be done with the help of the selected geographical location, with the help of the strategic alliances, with the help of the technology, it can be done doable. In fact, earlier the concept of one cluster in one area, today it is possible multiple clusters. For an example, if we talk about Mumbai, today we have a financial capital. Today the financial capital could be able to leverage it to manufacturing, to pharma, to you know, multiple industry can, based on the locational advantage, they can form the alliances and they can able to focus more and more about the local cluster because every cluster has some multiple skills. We have to alliance with them. Universities will have a knowledge center, incubation, innovation that can be connected with, you know, one of the venture capitalists. University, academia, financial institution, manufacturing, customers, MSME, see multiple stakeholders, everyone different objectives. And as a university, as in Mumbai University, we have 8 lakh students, 8 and a half lakh students. And starting from commerce to management to engineering to chemical to name anything we have. So they will have possibility of medical, we'll have a separate structure. Chemical technology, we'll have a pharma. There's a multiple cluster possible within Mumbai. Earlier, we talked one cluster, one area. I, what Michael Porter talks about, we should have those 50 clusters within Mumbai. Because there's a complete uh, value chain can be built. 